YouTube channel, guys. Uh, I'm on my way to take my wife to get her to check up. Got to pick up some coffee, and uh, this vlog is about would you buy any of your family members a multicab in the Philippines? <laughs> That's where we're being recorded, huh? Yeah, no, the question was, uh, would you buy your in-laws or would she buy your in-laws a, um, a multi-cab or a motorcycle? What, multi-cab is what's on our mind uh, possibly in the next year or so for her dad. He works on the farm, but uh, we haven't decided yet. And, I mean, you can get a used one for like what? Two thousand, maybe. Maybe it's depend. Two thousand dollars. Maybe two thousand to three thousand. Yeah. But two thousand costs like uh, it's already used. Yeah, it's already used. We almost or traded our car surplus, for one. Like surplus. Oh, surplus. Yeah, we but almost. It's, it's still good. It's running good. Yeah, we almost traded our white car in for one, but even when I got it, I couldn't even fit in it. The seat don't go back. It ain't good for me. I'm 5'8". But yeah, they do have, you know, like the other uh, cars. Because that's different car. The small multi-cars. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's There's a small only one. like two seaters, the driver and the passenger. And then uh, also... Oh, some of them don't have air conditioning, right? Yeah. A lot of them don't have air yeah. conditioning. But for her dad from point A at his house next to ours, how far is the farm? Like a mile or two from the house, maybe? Yeah, maybe two, two miles. So two kil kilometers or whatever, whatever they call it over there. But um, I don't Almost know. Almost every day or he, he drove his motorcycle. Yeah, he drives his motorcycle, yeah. But I was thinking to buy him a multi-car if it's help. It's gonna help him a lot, especially like he has a bis small business, like banana and stuff. So, yeah. So that he can like, you know, put all the bananas in both cup and then just drive to Kazan or wherever he wants to deliver. Because he has a, already a buyer who pick up the banana. Oh yeah, that's right. It comes yeah. right to the house. In our, uh, yeah, barangay, but much better. Like he gets more money if he's the one. Yeah, if he whatever. can drive to Valencia or even Quezon and sit on the side of the road yeah. and sell bananas or, or calabasa like that, because the calabasa is three pesos or five pesos. No, that time when he harvests the calabasa, it costs only like one one peso per kilo. Like, yeah, that's not really much cheap. at all. It's not really worth it. Like you put it a lot of a lot of work. You stuff. gotta water but them. It's, sometimes it's it's um, it's depend. You know, like when people's like having a lot of harvest, like the prices is different, much <coughs> lower because people like doing like a lot of harvest, but you know, every yeah. price are different. So he doesn't have the option to go sell on the street, so he has buyers coming. Mm -hmm. You know, he has corn too, then the corn they have to put out on the ground to let it dry and go back and forth with the rake to make sure it dries right. Yeah, being a, far being a farmer is not easy. It's a lot, a lot of work. You be in the sun all the time, like every day. And the thing is, the harvest is not every day. That's right. Like um, every three months. Even when his bananas are close to the river, and when the river overflow flows, floods, he loses some banana plants, yeah. right? Yeah, plus it's close to the river. And um, so, with you know, a multi cab would be a big help, tremendous help. I mean, he has his buyers and stuff, but I watched him have good, uh, good days and bad day days with uh, selling his products. But I'm sorry, I'm a little cut off here. I'm trying not to get the light in here, but um, the yeah, and the light in the back. But anyways, um, yeah, they have a lot of different types. A lot of that stuff, Suzuki. You get a lot of them from Japan, right? Yeah, Japan. That's that was I was talking about. The Japan surplus. It's it's a, a little bit cheaper but it's already used from the japan and then they ship to the philippines and then they, they put it back together yeah, put it back together yeah and then i noticed on in the philippines like with our car 
They don't really like when we bought our our, um, our van. What was the name of that van? I can't remember. Star X. Oh, Star X. I'm talking about how many miles are on it. Over there, they don't really care about the mileage. As long as it's running good and mm -hmm. things are working. First thing you do about when you buy a used car here, you ask how many miles on it. It's not like that in the Philippines. Yeah, it doesn't really come up in the conversation. But yeah, so you can get one of those. And if you buy one new, you get it shipped. Then put they'll put it together for you from whatever place you're buying it from, right? Yeah. And uh, take it from there. Like the Suzuki that uh, Tom and Ruth had. We're thinking about actually getting one of those in a couple of years. So when we go back, so we'll already have a vehicle there. It depends. We'll have to see, you know. We have a lot going on here. Uh, looking at maybe possibly buying some property here. I'd love to get a couple of containers and put, cut them out and do all kinds of stuff to them. But that's just me thinking a lot. I'd love to get a van and redo it too, like a van life. Not that we'd be living in it, but to travel. Just a project of my uh, young age. But, um, so, I mean, to you... It would be a good idea, and if you had the money, you would buy that for your family, yeah. right? Oh, that's a gift for parking. Yeah, and, and I asked a question on the community and page Papa yesterday. I already have a motorcycle, but motorcycle is a very big help for him, especially in the farm. Yeah, definitely, definitely a big help for him. And um, Papa is really want to buy a motorcycle, car, but can't really afford, you know, even though he yeah. really wants to, because farm is not making back a lot of money. Sometimes it is, but you know, not every day it's harvest, so we need to save money, you know, for for the food and stuff. So yeah, because some days you just raise enough money to eat each day. Mm -hmm. Like but if he gonna do monthly payment, it's gonna be tough right. for him too. So. And he just paid his motorcycle and off. And he get paid, yeah. He paid it one for three years. Three years, like, yeah, what was it, seventy-five dollars a month or sixty dollars a month yeah, or like something like that? Yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. But that one can afford because you know it's not like really expensive though. But at least yeah. you can afford. But if you're gonna buy a motorcab and pay monthly, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, it is. And there, you don't have to worry about insurance. Depends on where you live, or if you want insurance when you first register, mm -hmm. there's some type of insurance that you can get. And some people, um, you know, just insure, but fortunately here in Texas, I found a place, I had Progressive, paying almost $200 a month, but I found a miles auto you pay month, I mean, you pay by the mile, that cut the payments in half. Well, we drove 700 some miles last month, but this month we're gonna chill on that. Um, soon, baby girl here will be with here with us, but you've heard me say that before. <laughs> and we're excited, and my wife had a good report today at the doctor's. Yeah, I'm the, healthy, the baby's healthy, yeah. so I get two more months to go. And this, with this baby girl, my wife is beautiful. She has such a glow on her face. And some days she's just having a hard time. It's just a natural it's, thing. It's kind of tough sometimes, yeah. especially at night time when you go to bed. Yeah, she toss and turn and toss and turn. And I get sleep at night though. Yeah. But that's it. I mean, would you buy, you know, your relatives? Your in-laws uh, a vehicle of some type, multi-cab. And I put that question in a community page. LDR said he wouldn't do it. He spent money one time, but that's just, everybody has their own opinions. Yeah, um, everybody. You know. But for me, I'm always helping my family. Yeah. I'm always thinking about them. Family is always a problem. We My family doesn't have like a lot of money and stuff. That's why I want to help them too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, like, not all the money goes to there. If we have extra and stuff, like, why not? Yeah. Tell my family. And, uh, but anyways, did laundry, doctors, had H-E-B real quick. I need to make me some type of an Italian grinder. Ooh. I missed that. It's like once in a while, you got to have a little pasta in your life. You got to have a little al dente pasta, you know what I'm saying? Must up, set up, tell a guy. Or she's besides so let me guy or yummy. Anyways, our son snoozing on the couch. It's tired. It was cool and we left. We usually been getting up nine or ten. We left at eight something today. Appointment was at nine twenty. So it was cool out, but now it's like almost a hundred right. again. Yeah, we're not going it's out. It's always till, hot anyways. Yeah, till like Yeah, till like seven o'clock. We're usually out on a porch. Fireworks are coming up. We're going to Victoria, I think, at the, on the 4th. 
we'll see. I'm not sure what our uh, pastor and his wife is doing. If they're having any kind of thing at their house or something. I, I have no idea. Whatever. We don't do much. Um, just taking it easy. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Please hit the like button if you're new and you haven't hit the, the bell for the notifications. Please smash that bell and give it the hit the like button and share the videos. And there's links on the inside the description of the videos now on buying and purchasing me a coffee. It's just the name of the one I picked. Buy a coffee. It helps support the channel. <laughs> and we're headed for 4,000 subscribers. Yeah. All right, guys, we're signing out at 10 minutes, 28 seconds here. Cool. I'm Jessica Living in the Philippines, currently in Texas. Texas. Bye.